Welcome to Channel 12's Community Corner. I'm Ann Gallagher, and the City of Plymouth has been proactive when it comes to addressing the emerald ash borer issue. That will also be the case as we head into the summer months. Here's more about what you can look for and what the city is doing. Last September, we found or had our initial site found with emerald ash borer on the kind of the southeast corner of Medicine Lake. Now we're in a point where now we can track it, we know where it is, or at least the area it's in. We might know, not know each tree that it's in, but we do have a way to track it a little better now that it's here. Your options include taking the tree down. You could wait, which will end up resulting in taking the tree down later, or you can treat the tree. So you really have two options, treat the tree, take it down. On our map we have, when you open it up, you have your EAB trees, which there are only six of down here in the southeast corner of Medicine Lake. And then we have our treated trees that show up in blue. So you can see how close you are to a treated tree. And right now, most of these are just boulevard trees and park trees. We're hoping that people will take this opportunity, homeowners and, uh, and property owners, will take this opportunity to put their trees into the system. Um, it gives us some more information. So it gives us a little better handle on what neighborhoods or maybe in the future, in the next five to six years, where do we need to concentrate our efforts of looking for the insect? If we've got neighborhoods that don't have a lot of ash trees, maybe we don't need to spend much time in those neighborhoods and we can focus in on the areas that have a larger population. So again, getting that information helps me and it helps the private resident as well. And for any additional updates on the emerald ash borer issue here in the city of Plymouth and what you can look for, the city's website is always a great resource.